I wasn't like the star student coming out of Stanford. The thing that I was good at was leading an ACES group, being a president of an ACES team. And those leadership things are what really helped me. It isn't every day a mechanical engineer stands on stage like a rock star. But that's how it sounded when Aaron Yazzie returned to his high school alma mater. I'm so happy to be back home. It really just makes me feel reflective of where I've come from and, and especially the community that created me. Yazzie literally is a rock star. He and his team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory built the drills the Perseverance rover has used to bore into the rocky surface of Mars. When I come back home and I'm talking to native kids around here, I like to point out the reason why the landscape of Mars looks like the landscape of the Navajo Nation is because they were created in the same way. The same forces created both of those places. The reason why we're studying Mars is because we're actually trying to learn a lot more about a rocky terrestrial planet just like Earth. So we're learning a lot about ourselves when we study Mars. The geology rover is collecting samples NASA hopes to return to Earth in a mission 10 years from now, looking for signs of ancient life. The picture on the top right is what we call the dick carousel. It lives inside the rover and it holds all nine of our drill bits. The rover can spin it around and pick up the bit it needs and then you put it back in and spin it back around. The planet Mars is a long way from Holbrook, Arizona, a quirky town on the edge of the Navajo Nation where Yazzie grew up. It's how Aaron's dad studied civil engineering and his mom mathematics, both growing up in traditional Diné families where STEM thinking came naturally. Native people have a lot of talent in, in the science and engineering area. They just need to, to put it to use. My mom was a natural geometry person. The, the, the rug design and how it all comes together at the end, I'd be amazed. Mom, how do you know how to finish hair? It says, oh. <laughs> My main influence is my parents, like seeing them grow up in a very traditional Navajo home, sleeping on sheepskin rugs and only speaking Navajo the whole, like all their lives, to then going to school without also having a role model to sort of chase after. They found their way to college, got an education. Yazi attended Stanford University while exploring more interests through a half dozen summer programs and internships. He connected to two separate NASA internships through ACES, which also offered Yazi steadfast scholarship support even after another provider pulled its funding when Stanford grades slipped. And I felt so bad. I thought it was the end. I thought I would have to go home. And I remember like calling home and uh, like being emotional about it. <laughs> um, yeah, like you it worked was, that hard. And right. Then, yeah. And I remember Aces always being so generous and be like, well, like send us your next transcript or send us a midterm transcript and we'll see. Just another thing that Aces did, the confidence and the belief they had in me to finish that I could do it. The whole family has been active with Aces. At Holbrook High School, Yazzie talked up Aces, taking questions about motivating himself and working in teams. To build a drill bit, I have to work with the machinists. I have to work with a bunch of people who know about materials and coatings. I have to work with people who are inspecting parts. I have to work with people who know about thermal properties and stress, and stress analysis. I want to know what motivated them to help them get past all those hardships of getting into NASA. Inspiring students to dream beyond their backyard, Yazi stressed similarities between the geology on Mars and on the Navajo Nation. They have a core, a mantle, and a crust, just like Earth does. They have erosion due to wind. They have volcanoes. Um, they have Mars quakes, just like we have earthquakes. His work focuses on the heavens, but this visit was about home. <laughs> It isn't every day you hear cheers for a tribal introduction of clans and family, but maybe the students saw themselves in Aaron Yazi, indigenous space engineer from a line of rock star ancestors. They were resilient, they advanced, they set me up for a life where I could move on and achieve my own dreams. So I always need to acknowledge that there's a lot more than just my own abilities and my own doings that got me to where I am today. I owe, a, I owe a lot to my relatives and my ancestors and my parents.